Hello everyone and welcome back to Business Unboxed. The Supreme Court on Thursday made a landmark ruling that allows property owners to claim input tax credit or ITC on construction costs for rental buildings. This ruling is a major win for thousands of taxpayers who have faced legal challenges from GST departments. Let's dive into the details. First, let's understand what Input Tax Credit or ITC is. Under the Goods and Services Tax, ITC allows uh, businesses to reclaim the tax they have paid on inputs used for their goods and services. This means that businesses can reduce their tax liability by claiming credits for the taxes they have already paid on materials and services used in their operations. Now let's talk about the recent Supreme Court ruling. The case originated from safari retreats which approached the Odisha High Court uh, seeking eligibility for ITC on goods and services used in the construction of rental properties. The High Court interpreted uh, Section uh, 17.5D of the GST Act to allow for this ITC. However, the Central Revenue Department challenged uh, this decision claiming that GST rules do not permit ITC claims on immovable property. This led to several petitioners contesting uh, the constitutional validity of these provisions in the Supreme Court. In a ruling that many are calling a game changer, the Supreme Court has affirmed that input tax credit on construction costs for rental buildings can indeed be claimed. The court likened these properties to plants in a factory that generate economic output. This means that property owners who invest in rental uh, buildings can now reclaim ITC on expenses related to construction without facing restrictions. Tax experts believe this decision will lead to greater clarity in ITC claims, particularly in the construction sector. The ruling will help in determining ITC eligibility through essentiality and functionality tests. This ensures that credits will only be denied when inputs are not vital for business operations. This judgment will benefit thousands of taxpayers whose cases have been litigated by GST departments across the country. It's a significant step forward. However, there are still questions that need to be addressed. Experts are calling for further clarification on whether this relief can be extended to other sectors such as ports, airports and uh, data centers. This could open up even more opportunities for uh, businesses in those fields. So what do you think about this ruling? Will it change how you view investing in rental properties? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more updates on important news like this. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.